Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Paramjeet. I am a consultant physician cardiologist in the Ashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR. And this is my channel. You're watching Doctor Education. Here in this channel, I give you simplified medical explanation, the most latest and universally acceptable information. This information is directly referenced from the US International Medical Library, so you can trust this information. I have already made a lot of information. I have already made a lot of videos on my channel. More than 200 videos are already uploaded. And you can go there, search for your favorite healthcare topic and your health concern, and you will find authentic and simplified information about that topic on my channel. My aim is to explain to you why you got sick and how you can get well and live a healthy life. So today's topic is as requested by a subscriber, how do you lose weight after pregnancy, after delivery? So this topic is very sensitive and it's different from any other, any other weight loss video because after delivery, you are not just a single person. Another person's diet is dependent on you. And that's why this video is very, very important. And you need to see this video completely. And you must share this video with all potential mothers, potential moms, so that they can have genuine knowledge about this topic. So we are going to talk about how much time should you take to start losing weight? What should you do to even lose weight? Should you lose weight or not? What is the normal duration of losing weight? And what you should avoid, what you should eat? All these things will be discussed today. So stay tuned guys. This is Dr. Education. If you haven't subscribed this, if you haven't subscribed this channel already, then stop the video and do that right away. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Losing weight after pregnancy, after delivery. You should plan the return of your pre-pregnancy weight by the 6th or 12th month after delivery, not immediately. Do not lose weight in a very short time after delivery. It's not healthy for you as well as for your child. Most women lose half of their baby weight by sixth week after childbirth, postpartum. Post delivery period is also called as postpartum. So most women lose half of their maternity weight by six weeks after childbirth and the rest of the weight comes off very slowly over the next several months. Yes, it takes months. There are three things which can help you achieve this weight loss naturally without any side effects over a period of these months. That is, those three things are, first is a healthy diet. We'll talk about what diet it is. Then a daily exercise, mild to moderate form of exercise. And the third is, breastfeeding yes breastfeeding can also help with this postpartum weight loss so it's very important that you breastfed your child if possible exclusively for at least six months exclusively for at least six months it's very important to take your time why this so why this six to twelve months are important your body needs time to recover from childbirth. If you lose weight too soon after childbirth, it can take longer for your body to recover from that trauma, from that process. Because childbirth itself is a very exertion, is a very traumatic process. It's your body faces a lot of injuries during the process, even after normal or vagina. Even, in both after normal vaginal delivery or caesarean section you have to give your body time to recover give yourself at least six weeks of time after delivery before even trying to slim down 
if you are breastfeeding wait until your baby is at least two months old at least two months old and your milk supply has normalized before drastically cutting your calories so at least six weeks for your own self and two months for your breastfeeding baby that is eight weeks you should wait now when you even try to slim down what should be your aim so you should aim for a weight loss of about one and a half pounds per week not more than that less than or equal to 1.5 pounds in kilograms it will come around quarter to 1 kg less than 1 kg 0.75 0 0.8 kgs per week you can do this you can do this by eating you can do this by eating a healthy you can do this by eating healthy food and adding in exercise once you are cleared by your healthcare provider for regular physical activity so that's why six week post delivery health checkup is your important milestone where you discuss your weight loss program and your weight loss capacity and your weight loss plan with your doctor women who are exclusively breastfeeding need about 500 calories more per day than they did before pregnancy so this is very important to get these calories from a healthy diet healthy choices of fruits vegetables whole grains low fat dairy proteins and lean proteins so you have to choose your diet from among all these things you can take fruits you can take any kind of vegetables you can take whole grain low fat dairy and then you have to take lean proteins you can watch our video about lean proteins to know about what includes in lean proteins what are included in lean proteins then breastfeeding if you are breastfeeding you will want to lose weight slowly you cannot cannot lose weight very fast because that will affect the quality of milk and the nutrition your child is getting so weight loss that happens too fast can actually make your milk less can make can actually make you produce less milk losing about a pound and a half that is 670 grams 670 grams a week should not affect your milk supply so your health so that is your upper limit breastfeeding also makes your body burns a lot of calories which will help you lose weight if you are just patient enough you will be surprised at how much weight you are losing naturally while just breastfeeding now let's talk about what you need to eat to lose weight now these healthy eating tips the first and most important thing here is do not skip meals with a new baby many new moms forget to eat if you do not eat you will have less energy and believe me it will not help you lose weight no eat five to six small meals per day with a healthy snack in between rather than a three large meal plan then eat your breakfast even if you do not normally eat your breakfast in the morning get into the habit of having breakfast it will give you the energy you need to start your day and carry out the whole day because you need it you're a new mom obviously you need energy to handle all the to handle the baby handle his handle their tantrums it will help you not to feel tired or else you will feel tired your basal metabolic rate will slow down you will not lose weight rather than you'll lose your mind so don't do that then whenever you eat slow down take your time while you are eating you will notice that it is easier to tell that when you are full it's tempting to multi i i understand that it's very tempting to multitask but if you just focus on your meal then you will be surprised that it is it that you will eat much less there will be very much less chances of overeating if you just concentrate and eat slowly by chewing it properly 
so that is also very important then you need to choose non fat low fat dairy products those include skimmed milk or toned milk or double toned milk or a full cream milk after removing the upper cream so that's or you can even use products which are made from these low fat milks you can even reach out for a snack in between but when you reach out for a snack try to include food with fiber and protein to help you feel full such as raw salads carrots bell peppers uh, apple slices peanut butter or a slice of whole wheat toast with hard boiled eggs anything you can take which includes uh, fruits vegetables whole grains lean proteins and low fat dairy so any snack can your snack can include any of these stuff but make sure it is whole grain not a refined product drink at least 12 cups or 8 to 12 glasses of fluids a day that is very important you need to avoid dehydration that is so important i cannot stress on that enough you can keep a water bottle near the spot where you usually feed the baby in that way you'll remember that you need to drink when they do limit drinks like sodas juices and other fluids which have added sugars you don't want to take that that will not help you lose weight that will increase your weight rather they can add up and keep you from losing weight so take your extra calories from healthy food choose broiled or baked products rather than fried foods limit sweets sugars saturated fats and trans fats so all these things are very important to understand it's the basics and if you follow the basics then you can actually win this battle very easily now do not do a crash diet don't go on a crash diet or a fad diet now if you don't know what is a crash diet crash diet is something where you are not eating enough and fad diet is a popular diet that limits certain types of foods and nutrients don't do that it's not healthy for you it's not healthy for your baby they will probably make you drop pounds at first but those few pounds are just are just fluids are just liquid and they will come back they will rather bounce back even more than before along with fluids you might just lose muscles muscle weight instead of fats and mark my words you will gain back any fat you lose on a crash diet once you return to your normal eating so that's not a healthy diet to follow and most importantly be realistic you may not be able to return to your pre pregnancy shape for many women pregnancy causes lasting changes in the body you may have a softer belly wider hips large waist so you may have to make your goals about your new body realistically and obviously a lot of things are possible if you give proper amount of nutrition and diet to your body and most important thing exercise when you eat a healthy diet if it is combined with regular exercise that is the best way of shedding the pounds exercise will definitely help you lose fat instead of muscles when do you start it once you are ready to start losing weight like 6 weeks or 8 weeks then you eat little less and move a little more each day that's the target eat little less and move little more each day progressively don't start with a big step start slowly give your body time 6 months to 1 year to achieve the weight loss you want it will happen and i understand it may be tempting to push yourself into a hard routine for a fast weight loss but rapid weight loss is not healthy and not good for your body it's very hard on your body as well as not good for your child so do not overdo it just a quick walk around the block with your baby in a stroller is a great way of starting exercise in your daily routine so guys regular exercise is very important even after delivery but you have to wait for your wounds to heal you have to wait for your body to heal so 6 week is the minimum required and you can wait till 8 weeks if you are breastfeeding exclusively so guys this is all about losing weight 
during pregnancy i've already told you what to eat what not to eat calculate your calories don't forget that whatever you eat contains carbs so you have to cut your carbs but don't cut them totally eat whole foods whole grain foods instead of refined foods instead of white bread prefer brown bread instead of white rice eat brown rice eat a lot of proteins lean proteins eat a lot of low fat dairy take your vitamins take your supplements calcium folic acid iron supplements what your doctor has advised don't forget to drink water or fluids and do not skip your meal make sure that you take care of yourself as you take care of your little one till next time guys this is dr paramji and you're watching doctor education i'll discuss about what what changes happen in your body after pregnancy after delivery in the next video we'll talk about what exact exercises can you do in a dedicated video on exercises after delivery so keep a track on my channel stay tuned if you haven't subscribed already then do that check out the other videos on my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon guys that's very important because the only them because only then you'll receive the notification of the next video so till next time stay connected stay healthy